Hello and welcome to Bullion RV. My name is Tristan Akison, and today I will be showing you this Wolf Pup Limited 30195. Now this is one of the smaller units we have here at Bullion RV weighing in at less than 3,000 pounds and it's even shorter than 20 feet. I'll start up front here with the 20 pound propane tank and the 12 volt battery that come with your purchase of this vehicle fully loaded. Right here again we have the rock guard to protect the front of your camper from all the rocks that your vehicle will be throwing up at it. On the side here you can find the water heater if my shadow doesn't block it right next to the fresh water connection and the city water connection and who would have guessed it directly next to that is a shower hose so long day at the beach instead of bringing the beach back into the camper with all that sand you can wash off the outside right here. Next this is where you plug in your electricity to the camper and below that is one of the two 14 inch tires that have a pretty neat PSI gauge that once this little guy turns red, you'll have to put more air in your tires. But in the meantime, it's green, so we're doing good. Right here, you have your wastewater holding tank and your sewer outlet right on the back left side of this camper. It also comes with a spare full-size tire, as you can see right here. Now let's enter this camper. As you can see, you got to march up these two stable non-slip steps and just grab onto this handle in case you're a little bit more tipsy than usual. Right here you can find your AC and heat controller and on our first door on the left you will find the bathroom or the shower for that matter with a removable nozzle right here and then at the very top you even have a skylight that has a fan to blow some air around. Now behind door number two Nothing! No, I'm just kidding. Toilet's down here. You can see that. It's got a foot pedestal to flush. And up top, this room also has a skylight with a fan. Now moving on, this is the main living space right here. Here's your dinette with a big window that opens up to where you can imagine your fireplace being, maybe Lake Superior, probably where you're going to face this window. Above it, plenty of storage. And behind it, right here, is where you can take your TV of any size that fits in this corner, attach this little connector to it, and slide it upon this, and you have a TV right there. And you connect it up here, the cable and power outlets. This dinette can also fold down into another bed in case you have another visitor that comes along with you. Directly to my left here, you'll find your gas and electric powered refrigerator. Let's see if I can open it on my first try. There we go. Again, plenty of space, about 10 cubic feet in this to store all your goods for the next adventure that you're going on. Up top here, you have just regular microwave, your fan, and light for cooking over your two burner cooktop. Flip this back, there you go. Also has a deep bold sink right here with a hard top cover. So you can lay plenty of things woo, in here without making a mess. Blow again, this entire kitchen unit, you have plenty of storage up top. So also with plenty of storage below. Now above the dinette, other than the storage, you have kind of your control panel. Here's all of your light switches, the vitals to your water, here's your sound system. Um, your radio, your Bluetooth to play music on the speakers either in here or the ones outside which I'll show you in a second. It also has a voltage reader right there. Now for this bed, on each side you will find your outlets and USB ports for charging all of your devices whether it be, your, be a phone, maybe a drone, who knows. Up top, more storage. You got a queen size bed right here and again with my single good hand I'm going to grab this handle right here and show you that there's even more storage below. And that is a door I have opened for outside. We'll get to that in a second. And lastly, before I get out of this unit, as I close the bed, in case getting out and disconnecting wasn't your forte, there's also wired in a Wi-Fi 4G internet port that if you'd like to add that to this unit, you definitely could. However, at a price. 
All right, now I'm just gonna walk out really quickly and show you as I walk out. Again, this doorway is probably the smallest part of the unit. Everything else, fairly tall. You gotta be pretty tall to be hitting your head on this. The lowest thing that hangs right here is the AC, which if you'd like to control, it has shutters on each side. So if you wanna have the entire unit cooled, you can open or close them. Or maybe you just wanna have your bed cooled, you can funnel that more towards your bed. All right, now let's make our way out of this unit safely. Above this door right here, already connected, you have a backup cam. Oh no, I just spilt my water. You have a backup cam that'll allow you to see when you back up, obviously. And we couldn't forget to leave Fido out of this, so we there's a, added a leash latch. Connect this leash right here, because your campsite's probably gonna be on this side under this awning with LED lights. You can even see them during the day, not too cool. During the night, coolest camper here. And if that wasn't cool enough, your speakers have lights that match them. The speakers can also connect to the TV that you can connect right here, cable, outlet, and slide on right here. So if the TV inside wasn't big enough, you can get a bigger one and put it out here. Up above, you have your gutters again to keep all the debris from sliding down the entirety of your side of your camper to instead shoot out those spouts. We're going to enter the storage space one more time from a different angle. Again, this is right below the bed. It opens up over there. Pretty self-explanatory. Now, this is the Wolf Pup Limited 30195. And again, my name is Tristan Akison. Have a great day.